Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we have a 2004 Mercedes-Benz SL350. It's done just under 50,000 kilometres, 49,000 kilometres and it's in very good condition. It's Zircon Silver in colour with grey leather interior and it's got the optional wood grain steering wheel which makes a big difference. When these were new they're actually the fastest hard top convertible in the world. I'm not saying that because it gets from 0 to 100 in 6 seconds or anything like that. What I mean is the actual electric top folds away and goes on quicker than any other. We'll take it off now. It's got navigation Bluetooth compatible. That lights just to say I've got the door open. Since here 49,500 kilometres. So to open the roof, you literally pull that back and then you hold it. And it's probably a good idea if you turn the car on. So the back goes up. And there it goes such a good system I found that this was the first first car which which actually worked in this way and they obviously put a lot of the engineers put a lot of time and effort into designing it and now you'll find that just about every convertible looks very similar it's got memory electric seats this has got the much much more reliable 3.7 litre v6 engine it sounds fantastic it's got the five-speed automatic transmission, which basically the five-speed is regarded as one of the most reliable gearboxes, and the 3.7 litre V6 is regarded as one of the most reliable engines. So what I'm saying is basically these are a very reliable model. It's got the rear wind deflector here, dual zone climate control, cruise control, speed limiter, automatic lights, automatic wipers, Xenon lights, it's got the best looking wheel, the five spoke wheel, which looks so much better than the, the wheel on the 0203 first of this series. So I, I took photos of all the logbooks, that's the hard top folded away in there. And literally, at the click of a button here, if you wanted to open it up so you can put golf clubs in or something like that. You certainly can, which is fantastic. They're very well designed. There's a reason why these were 200,000 new or over 200,000 when they were new. And I'll also go as far as those, there's a reason why the most valuable Mercedes generally are SLs. You know, if you look at cars from the 50s, 60s, 70s, etc., the most expensive is the, is the 280 SL, you know, Pagoda. And I think of everything. So I say, see if you want to put this seat forward. In Australia, they are just a two-seater. So it folds forward like that. You'd say, why would you want to do that? There's no seats in the back. You do have storage. There's a, a CD stacker as well on that side. What you can do, see here, you've got a belt. You can actually pull that out and lock it down into here. So that's if you have a suitcase. And if you've got suitcases, you can actually put it there and you can strap it in, which is very clever. But I've, uh, I've driven a number of these cars. I did drive this car overnight because we just picked it up yesterday. I just picked it up yesterday. And it drives perfectly, as you expect for a car with around 50,000 kilometres. It was quiet, smooth, the gear change was perfect. And really, in every way, it was a very impressive car. And with the older 129 chassis, R129, you really had to get a 500. The 320 and the 280s are a way, bit of a waste of time. And they were, they were heavy and they were 0 to 100 in about 10 seconds. Whereas with this model, with the 3.7 litre, about 160 to 170 kilowatts, I'd have to double check that. But uh, it's very reliable and it's got plenty of power. 
it's in my opinion, I've driven both, and in fact I've driven 500s of this series on the freeway, and I've driven 350s. I've driven them around town. I've got to say, there's absolutely no reason to get a 500 over the 350, under than other than the fact that it's going to sound a little bit better, and it says 500 on the back. In fact, a lot of SL 350s have been rebadged as 500s. Because people thought, well, they, they still sound very good. They've got plenty of power. So if I put 500 on the back, you probably wouldn't know if one drove past. This one has got the original badging, obviously. But if you've been looking for an SL of this series, please come and have a look at this car. I think it's pretty special in that it's, it does have low kilometres. It's a great colour combination. It's got a good service history, and the car is in very good condition. And it's got some great options like your timber steering wheel. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. We're located 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, and we've got about 80 vehicles in stock at the present time. Thanks again for watching.